but this is the latest incarnation of our avionics board. Uh, first things first, we have a power switch here that uses um, jumpers like this to turn the, our system on. There you go, you can see that our power light turned on there. Uh, next we have these indicator lights. Uh, this one is just LED going straight from power to ground to show that our system does indeed have power. Um, this delay light uh, is used to show if our program is uh, capable of arming itself. We have a delay built into the program that will allow us 15 minutes to set the rocket up for a full launch or we can just uh, have it run straight through the program if we're simply testing the system. Uh, the arm light here shows if the system is armed, uh, meaning it has sens sensed a launch and uh, can it, once it is armed it then starts looking for uh, if it should fire the parachutes. First it's going to fire the separator cannon here which lets out the drogue chute um, and the main parachute when it drops below a certain altitude above the starting altitude. <coughs> so here we have squib terminals that uh, these are where we connect in our squibs. Uh, the squibs aren't uh, direction sensitive. You can plug them in either way and they will work. Uh, so we have a squib terminal for the separator cannon and for the main uh, parachute dual release system. We also have these disconnects. These are for safety so we can uh, ensure that there is no way our system can go off while, our, while we apply power. Uh, these disconnect completely the uh, 9 volts coming from our transistors here going out to our uh, system there so in order for anything to go off these two jumpers must be in place. We have delay down here. Uh, you can see it says delay or no delay. We have one jumper that goes between either two pins so we can do that for a delay or do it to this for no delay. Uh, when it's set on delay, it uh, there's a 15 minute wait period before our system looks so it can arm itself or no delay. Uh, it runs straight through to our program. Then we have sensors on here. This is our accelerometer and an altimeter. Uh, this gives us accurate data about our height and about the acceleration involved. Um, this is what we use to sense launch and this is what we use to sense our altitude for parachutes, uh, par parachute deployment. We also have an SD uh, chip up here that allows our main system, our processor here to communicate with our uh, SD card. The SD card does not always have to be active in the program, however if you have the SD card uh, software in the program on the chip, you must have an SD card in the slot for it to work. Um, these here are switches for the um, to connect the SD card communications up to the chip. Those must be in place for any SD card communication as well. I will get more into the why in a few minutes. Uh, next we have this, these are the wires for a kill switch up here. Uh, so a kill switch is a remote uh, firing system for our parachutes. We, we have a ham radio in our system that will um, allow us to press a button on the ground and deploy the parachutes when we want to. Uh, if we don't think that our system is working with the uh, uh, sensors we have, this is just a safety uh, aspect so it's an emergency switch for us. The three wires here are uh, ground or zero volts for um, the system. The red wire here, uh, also the center pin on the outside, is the uh, coming from the microcontroller. It provides a logic high for the out uh, so we can have a correct output when we uh, correct voltage out output when we uh, use our system and this is the actual uh, sensor line. It's active low meaning when um, 
when the signal on this is low, that means the bu uh, button is, or the radio is receiving a signal. So this has to be connected. Uh, so this is the signal line. We have over here, uh, reset and reset disable uh, switch. These are also jumper connections for us. The reset, so long as that is connected, the program cannot uh, start running. So uh, that means you can apply power and put all of your jumpers that are necessary in before you can, and then you can take this off and that will start the program. Uh, the reset disable, I'll go into more of the why in a moment, but this is uh, provides a capacitor to the reset pin for the Arduino, so it can't reset itself because it has the capability to do that. The last part we have here is serial communications. We have two different ports uh, for serial communication. This one isn't any kind of standard port, it's just uh, has different places that we, you can plug in any wires you need, like that. Uh, we have TX and RX for the microchip here, uh, for the Arduino processor. We have serial data and serial clock uh, labeled down here, which are for the I2C network, so you can look at the signals from those. We also have ground and VCC on this um, block. Uh, this is a standard one, this is ICSP. Uh, it's the reason that we have to have these disconnected occasionally because if you're going to use this to program the chip these uh, SD card can interfere uh, so programming through that is very simple you just have to load the Arduino ISP onto uh, an Arduino Uno or Duemil well, Ove that we have both of um, and connect the appropriate wires up from the ICSP header on the Arduino to the ICSP header on this board. Um, the, so the reason we had the reset disable is for the TX and R RX lines here. This uh, chip has stuff built in to it automatically so when it uh, um, when it senses that it's getting information passed to it from another or from an outside source it will automatically reset itself and start the program over that's a bad thing because we want to um, in essence we want to launch and when it lands we can connect up TX and RX to an Arduino and to, uh, or through an Arduino to a computer and use that to get data off of the system uh, even without an SD card. Um, right now it's the program is set to serial print uh, various data such as the altitude that both of the parachutes were fired at and um, much more. That's our system.